there's a good one. On the top of that uh, island, to stay on. Oh yeah, he might uh, golly, he tore my spinner blade up. That gum you? Nah, he ain't gonna measure. He won't measure, but we'll take a little video of him. How about that? At the homestead, gonna let him go. Hi, right, buddy. Thank you. He knocked the fool out of it too. I'm talking about. Gotta get the shorts in, y'all. Gotta get the shorts in. Y'all know how that is. Gotta get the shorts in. I think we're good. Yep. Right off that island over there, just rolling it slow on top of that island. He was there. Such a pretty day out. Went kayaking this morning. Well, I attempted to go kayaking this morning. Put it that way. And, uh, first time in my new Ascend 128X. Third cast, I catch about a two and a half, three pounder, which would have been absolutely wonderful for my online tournament. And I forgot my tournament ID, ID cards, my codes. I had everything but that. I hadn't been on the water 15 minutes. Third cast. Caught that nice fish and didn't have my codes. So you know what I done? I loaded my kayak up and I went home. <laughs> I was like, that's unbelievable. Just ruined it, you know, just ruined the whole trip. We can get us a big one today. I like to be able to get one. Pretty hefty. It's a bed right there. Looks like one anyway. <laughs> do 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 do. Number six gumma got two. And we're gonna try the old zoom beat down. I love this little bait to be so simple it catches a lot of fish yeah he's not very big he's a little bitty fart but see now I'm catching a lot of these which is good but we got to start keeping the one pounders so they can grow up and we're gonna start doing that probably in the next month or so. If not, we're gonna have a problem with the fish being stunted. Cause you can stunt a pond if you don't do some kind of management. And that's something that I have to do. I got to manage it. If not, we're gonna have a problem with small, small bass. Just bunches of them. Oh, he's already got it. Unbelievable. <laughs> they ain't big as nothing. I mean, they're not much bigger than the daggum lure that I'm using. But 
I'm not getting skunked anyway, you know what I mean? Look at that, he's already got it. Probably a little bit better one, yeah, he is. Not much. So like this side right here, we gotta start keeping. This side right here. Right in the bottom of the lip, though. Yo, look at there. Look, he's beat up. That's where he's been bedding. He's definitely been fanning and bedding. The thing about it is, this lure is small enough that you'll get bram and speckle perch and all that hitting it too, so. Need a big one. I need a decent one anyway. There's so many little ones in here. I gotta start getting them out, I guess. the morning started out kind of crazy with uh my kayaking experience which was nothing bad i mean it's just i left everything i needed i left um you know at the at the house as far as my tourney x and my kbf uh codes caught a about a three pounder probably 18 inches and I left my codes at the house like an idiot. So, so I just come down here to the house today and wanted to play around a little bit. And I've got two tournaments that I'm in <clears throat> on Tourney X that are private and public access waters and they're just you know they're they're pretty much bragging right tournaments look at that they're just stacked in there dude <laughs> but we're gonna start keeping these boys right here um they come right off to me we're gonna start keeping those right there for long. <clears throat> I surely wish I could get about a 20 incher. That one this morning on the kayak was a nice, nice fish. And, um, and I got him in and I left all my codes at the house. Each tournament has a code. And um, that code has to be in the picture on the board, on the measuring board. And I left my codes at the house. Now granted, I could have wrote it on my hand. I could have wrote it on the piece of paper because you can go on the app and you can get it off the app. But the problem was, I didn't have a pen or a pencil or a Sharpie or nothing to write it with. So I was, <sighs> I was screwed. So we had fun today anyway by the family pond homestead throwing the culprit spinnerbait and the zoom beat down. Had a good time though. Thank y'all so much for watching Katie Water Woods. Um, you know, we're gonna try to maybe put the kayak back in the water tomorrow, but I'm not sure yet. Depending on what the weather, plus get a lot of rain tomorrow, so I don't know. But anyway, had a lot of fun today, uh, just hanging out here at the, the house. Um, we may try to do some kind of fishing tomorrow, but I'm not sure, like I said, depending on the weather. As always, thank y'all for joining me here at Katie Water and Woods. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Give me some thumbs up, y'all. Uh, doesn't cost a dime to be a, a subscriber here. Uh, make sure you follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Katie Water and Woods. Also, 
uh, I do have a Patreon page, and if you uh, feel it in your heart to become a Patreon, make sure you hit uh, follow the link in the description down below and become a Patreon. If you don't, that's fine too, but it's there. Um, some good, cool behind the scenes photos and some videos of Katie Waterwoods and Jordy RC. So uh, make sure you go over there and check that out. But until next time guys, I'm gonna go inside, maybe have a little beverage and just enjoy the rest of this beautiful Saturday evening. Thank y'all so much. We'll see y'all on the next video.